Hello, what's up YouTube? Bronix with another tutorial and this is going to be a Capture One tutorial where I'm going to be showing you how I did the color grading for this very image. So I've been getting so many DMs ever since I posted this very image on my Instagram at Tronix Photography. So I want to show you how I did the color grading and right now we are looking at the interface of Capture One and Capture One is a raw processing software that is going to really change you and transform your life as a photographer. So if I told you don't have Capture One, make sure that you purchase Capture One. It is not a free software. You can get the free version, but it's not going to be as advanced as the one that is paid for. So just look at your Capture One interface. And I'm using Capture One 21. And you may be wondering why my Capture One is having or is looking way like Lightroom. So what I basically did, I came to Window, Workspace, and I came to Migration. And I had my adjustments the way Lightroom or Camera Raw can provide them. I prefer to work with adjustments on the right hand side. So if I told you are missing any tool and yours is not looking like this, you can simply right click and you customize the toolbar for the app option. And if I told you are missing any adjustments right here, as we proceed in the tutorial, you can simply right click and you come to add tool and you can add a tool that you're missing in your Capture One. So in Capture One, the very first thing I tend to do is working on correcting the lighting issues in the image that includes the dynamic range, the exposure, highlight recovery, shadow reduction or shadow removal out of the image. So I come to the high dynamic range and I take the highlights down and I come to also the whites and I take the whites down. So after doing this, I tend to take the blacks down slightly to add a little bit of contrast within the image. But as I'm doing this, you can notice that it is making the background a little bit dark. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to come and open up the shadows slightly by taking the shadow slider up and it's going to bring back information within the background. So after doing that, I'm just going to come to the clarity and simply add a, cl a clarity of 5 and come down to my levels adjustment layer. I'm just going to drag in my blacks just like that to add in contrast within the image and also drag up my whites just slightly. Then I'm going to come to my contrast and add a slight contrast of around 4 and this looks good and it looks great. So after doing these adjustments, remember we have been working on the background there. So in Capture One, we also have layers like we do in Photoshop. So Make sure when you start doing your color grading in Capture One, you apply or create a new field adjustment layer on which you are going to be putting the color grading of the image so that you don't, you work non-destructively and you can go ahead and change the opacity of your color grading if at all you tend to go intense or overboard. So I'm just going to come right here. I'm going to right click on this plus icon and I create a new field adjustment layer. I'm going to double click to rename it to color grade for purposes of being really <coughs> uniform with the process of color grading. So after this, so the color grading is going to be on this layer right here. So I'm, I'm going to scroll all the way down to the color editor tool. You can see this is the color editor tool. We have color editor and color balance. So first, we are going to be working with the color editor. And uh, under color editor, we have basic advanced and skin tone and for this case we're going to be using the basic and skin tone so the first thing i tend to do is first of all matching or having a uniform skin color for my subjects or my models so with the skin tone mode selected i'm simply going to come right here and simply click on this eyedropper tool so you left click right there and after simply right clicking on that adjustment layer I'm going to first of all come and you get the eyedropper tool rather. So after getting the eyedropper tool, I'm just going to zoom into the image and I look for the area. So I'm using Ctrl or Command Plus. I look for the area that should represent the whole or overall image. So in this case, I'm just going to come and I'm just going to choose any random area. So this area is fine. And when I click on that area, you can see it shows me the range of the colors that I've been able to select. I'm going to use Command minus to zoom out. So you can see 
we have a problem the outfit is yellow and this has also sampled color and we don't want to change or alter the yellow color too much in the model's outfit so what we're going to do you can see when you selected the skin area it showed us the range so within the selected skin tone area we have reds magentas oranges and some yellows so if at all you want to see the selected color range you can click on this option and you can see that it has selected even yellows so we just want to limit the selection of the yellows in the image so with this view selected range option turned on i'm just going to come back to this wheel and i'm just going to left click and drag it up to when it starts just selecting the yellows even more so that i can remain more with skin tone so right now we are good to go and we have skin tone selected in this case so take it down and you can see that skin tone is mostly selected in the image so after doing that come back to view selected color range and you turn it off so after doing that just come to the uniformity slider and we just want to make the skin color uniform for this model so i'm just going to take the uniformity slider up just like that while looking at the image of course just going to take it up up to around 80 86 is fine and i'm going to add some saturation to the image just like that so don't mind about uh, if at all it is getting a little bit oversaturated but you can see the skin is now uniform let's see the before and after quickly so this is the image after this is the before after before after look at how the skin is now popping and it is now very uniform so i'm just going to simply turn off the before and after slider so the next thing is going to be under amount so here i can control the amount of hue within the skin tone area so when i take the amount all the way down it is going to make the skin tone a little bit more of the red and i'm just going if at all i take it up it's going to add more greens within the skin tone so for this case i just want to add a little bit of reds within the skin tone I think that looks great and I'm just going to slightly turn down the saturation and this looks great look at the skin tone and let's see the before and after for the skin tone this is the after and this is the before after before after so the next thing I'm going to do I'm just going to turn off the before and after slider so I'm just going to come back to my basic option and I'm going to play around with the hue values and the colors in the background for example I have a little bit of blues and I just want the blues to pop a little bit more out of the background. Just going to click on the blue channel and I'm going to take up the saturation of the blues. You can see now the blue color is popping even enough. I'm going to take the lightness a little bit down and that looks great. So I'm just going to come to my yellows and I'm going to add a slight bit of red fill or red hue towards the yellows of the image. So just take it slightly down. And this is great it looks great so right now in the <coughs> color grading layer we still have a little bit of shadows so I can come and simply turn up the shadows in the color grading layer just like that and this looks awesome and I could come and take the highlights slightly down and the white slightly down so basically this is what I did when I was color grading this very image so if I told you feel like you want to make the yellows pop a little bit more, you can come back to the basic channel and simply take up the saturation for the outfit so that it can even pop and match with the blue and complement the blue sky right there. Just look at how awesome the image is. And after this, I took the image into Photoshop and did the skin retouching and eye whitening. So basically, this is what I did when I was color grading this image in Photoshop. And if at all you have found this video really helpful so i did the color grading rather in capture one and this is what i did and this was my result let's see the before and after you can see that the before and after so basically this is what i did and if i told you i found this helpful don't forget to like this video and like i said we have layers in capture and if i told you feel the color grade is too much you can come and reduce on the intensity of your color grading so basically this is how I color graded this image in Capture One. And if I told you I found this video really helpful and informative, don't forget to like this video and don't forget to subscribe this channel. If I told you I've been watching and you're not subscribed this channel, 
Ronix from Ronix Photography. Thank you for, for watching and I'll see you in yet more amazing tutorials. And don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating.